Vesley, you started the tournament with an upset win over Sasha Zverev, and in the second round, you get a nice win over Pablo Cuevas in four sets. How happy are you to follow that upset up with another win? Yeah, it's big. I mean, uh, you know, after beating Sasha, of course, uh, I had so many congratulations and so many messages and, you know, lots of media stuff to do. And, uh, of course, after a big win like this, uh, it's never easy to really stay focused and and keep the level up and I'm really happy about my performance today because I think uh, I've done a great job uh, even though I lost the first set uh, I think uh, he played really great too and uh, yeah it was it was really very very difficult to to uh, get back into the match and uh, to turn the match around so uh, yeah really really happy about about my game today yeah what was the mentality like after that first set right Cuevas is a really tough player he wins the first set what were you telling yourself to make sure that you stayed positive yeah, I mean, he's very talented, he's uh, moving so well, uh, his game is uh, really uh, very solid, uh, he serves good, so uh, it was really hard to find some uh, weakness points, but, uh, you know, I tried to really serve bigger and bigger and uh, it worked well. Uh, I think I, in the second set I started to serve lots of aces and lots of free points and uh, I think uh, this was one of the things that put him a little bit more under, under pressure and uh, yeah, all of a sudden he started to miss a little bit more, gave me some, uh, some opportunities and uh, I think I, I've used most of them which was uh, definitely uh, very important because uh, with players like Pablo you don't get really many chances and uh, I was able to, to convert them and uh, that was I think uh, the difference today. You're, you've been top 40 in the world, and here you had to actually come through the qualifying, but those three extra matches, do you feel like you're really feeling confidence? Has that given you maybe a little bit of a running start compared to the players who are directly into the draw? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've had a very tough uh, last 12 months, uh, been, lot, uh, been injured a lot, uh, so I wasn't really able to, to compete on my, on my best level, and, uh, you know, after I got back to the Tour, uh, I started to lose quite a bit more and uh, lost my confidence at all. So, uh, you know, even though I was really a little bit uh, sad that I had to play qualities because uh, I knew I was defending la uh, fourth round from last year. So, you know, winning six matches is, I think, a uh, so hard job and uh, so far I'm doing great. So uh, definitely I'm happy to, to play the qualities because, uh, you know, these three matches that I won in the qualities uh, definitely helped me to, uh, to play better, for example, against Sasha and uh, also today. So uh, really happy about each win and hopefully uh, this tournament will, uh, will uh, give me lots of uh, positive vibes for the, for the rest of the season. Well, I mean, you mentioned those six matches. You've already won five. You count those three in qualities, beating Zverev in the first round and then following it up. Next up, Benoit Paire. He's a really tough customer. He's got a lot of variety in his game. You never know what's coming from Benoit. How do you try to get past that match and, as you said, get back into the fourth round for the second straight year? Yeah, I mean, it would be, would be an amazing result, that's for sure, uh, you know, playing Benoit third round, I think. Definitely there could have been uh, more dangerous opponents, uh, you know, it's the third round already, which is not, uh, not so bad. And, uh, but, you know, Benoit is a great player, he's had so much talent, uh, you know, he, he, he can play every single shot, uh, which you probably can think about. Uh, so, uh, you know, you really have to be focused, you really have to be solid uh, and uh, yeah, just just play well and uh, wait wait for the chances. I think I think grass isn't his uh, most favorite surface, so I'll try to take this as an advantage and hopefully I, I can do well. And lastly, you've been to the fourth round here a couple times before. Maybe it's not his favorite surface, but you seem to sure love this Wimbledon grass. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, in the beginning, the first year or two, uh, uh, I thought like, oh, this is not probably my my best one because you know I'm a tall guy and uh, moving around is quite difficult. So, you know, after after some time, I started to really get used to the grass and and uh, you know use my serve, uh, use my flat back and uh, go to the net lots of times. And you know, I think my results in the past they just speak for itself. Uh, I've I've done uh, really good in the past already, and uh, hopefully. I can push it even even further one day. So uh, hopefully this year will be the year where uh, I can make it maybe maybe even even further. All right. Well, you're looking for number six of the tournament in the third round. Thank you so much, Yuri. Thank you. Thanks.